Just in time for your summer adventures, today I'm going to tell you about my new go-to travel photography setup. This video is brought to you by Headshot Tools. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Gary Hughes, and today I'm going to share my latest camera setup that I use for my personal photography. Whether I'm going to the beach with my family or traveling, I've gotten into the habit of bringing a camera with me to document the important moments in my lives of my kids and myself, and honestly, just give me a great way to enjoy photography outside of my day-to-day -day hustle and grind in and out in the studio. I talk about that in my video, The Hobby Paradox, which you can check out here or in the link in the description, which I will definitely remember to put there. Up until recently, I've been bringing the EOS RP with me for personal photography. I think it's a great camera, the RP, maybe one of the best value for dollar cameras on the market, but it has a few shortcomings. It's also recently been replaced in the lineup by the R8, which is basically the RP, with a new sensor, better autofocus, and much better video. A little while back, I bought the Canon R7 as a second video camera and a backup camera for the studio. I've been enjoying it so much that more and more I've been reaching for it when I want something to play around with. And family photos. The camera is honestly a joy to shoot with and has some distinct advantages over the RP or R8. First of all, it has IBIS, dual card slots, a larger battery, the same one as the R5, and fantastic video features. All makes it ideal for what I want to use it for. The image quality is great and it's just small enough not to be a pain in the butt and to have around with you when you're traveling and the ergonomics are great just like most of what Canon makes. My goal is to shoot differently than how I work on a day-to-day -day basis so it won't feel like work. So I shoot simple, travel light, and challenge myself to work in a way that I'm not used to. First off, let's talk about the lens. I've been shooting with the 35 1.8. It's fantastic, it's pretty affordable, and it's easy to travel with and gives great results. 35 millimeters is a great focal length. I like it a lot, and it's a lot smaller than my 7200 I usually work with. The problem is, is that the R7 is a crop sensor, so that 35 is now more like a 55. So I picked up the RF 24 millimeter, and I'm back in business. It's affordable, it's pretty much the little brother to the 35, and it gets me right back to that 35 millimeter equivalent that I really like to shoot with when I travel. Now, when I travel, I don't like to think too much about my camera settings, so I usually default to shooting in aperture priority mode, usually around f2. This can get me into some tough spots on a sunny day, so I pair it with the Hoya 52mm Variable Neutral Density Filter. <laughs> the result is that I end up getting a very retro look and feel to the images. It's a cool, shallow depth of field, even on bright sunny days, and coupled with a little film presets in Capture One, it kind of has this nostalgic look to it. It reminds me of like my family vacation photos that I remember from being a kid. Just a note on that variable ND filter, the lens cap for the 24 millimeter doesn't really like to stay on when that filter is on, so I end up taking it off and storing it when I'm not using the camera. For the trips where I might want to do some video clips or a little vlogging, I bring along my Rode Video Micro and can get pretty darn good audio on the go. The built-in IBIS makes hand-holding the camera a breeze in most situations, so if I get an idea for a video while I'm traveling, I can make it happen. Most headshot photographers struggle to organize and deliver team and event headshots. They either do everything manually, taking up hours of their time, or they homebrew a complex system combining multiple apps. That's why we built Headshot Tools, a comprehensive solution specifically tailored to solve the unique problems headshot photographers face. You'll be confidently delivering the best client experience to any size group without breaking a sweat. Right now, Headshot Tools is in a closed beta where users will get unlimited access to all features, including unlimited jobs, storage and uploads for only $59 a month, automatic file renaming, custom signup forms, individual galleries, mass email notification, and retouched image selection, all in one easy to use platform. To request your beta access code, just email support at headshottools.com and say, I want beta access. That's support at headshottools.com. For stability, I don't usually travel with a tripod and I don't love camera straps. I found a happy medium that lets me carry my camera safely and doesn't take up too much space or get in the way. This is the Cuff from Peak Design. It costs about 35 bucks and like pretty much everything Peak Design makes, it's well built and easy to use. Finally, my most recent purchase, a travel bag for my light setup. Based on the recommendation of my friend, Boo Ray Perry, I picked up the Think Tank Photo Mirrorless Mover 20. It's got just the right amount of space for my camera, lens, charger, microphone, an extra lens, strap, 
and it fits nicely inside my travel backpack if I need to consolidate my bag for carrying on a plane. As far as camera settings, I shoot compressed RAW plus large JPEGs. The JPEGs usually look great and are quick and easy to set up my phone using the Canon Camera Connect app. If I want to use any for printing or edit them more, I can always go back to those RAW files later if I want to. So there you have it. It's a light and powerful travel camera setup that yields great results. In addition to having a very portable travel camera, I also have a fantastic backup photo and video camera for my studio work. Best of both worlds. If you have any questions about gear, camera settings, or anything else, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, thumbs up, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.